Do people call you Rai Rai? Uh, yeah, only on text. Only on text? Yeah, I get a, hey, Rai Rai, what's up? Hey, Rai Rai, what are you doing? Like, I, hey, Rai Rai, what's going on? I feel like I keep calling you that you behind your I, back. It, oh, really? What do you say? Yeah. Well, it's like, not I'll what say, you're... I'm going to make sure that Rai Rai has his chia pudding or make sure Rai Rai has his... So sweet because I'm, well, not so new anymore, but I haven't lived here that long. Last night, because I can't master what I'm... <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you know everything I did? I know, I know. I just the way you started out by going last night. Last night. <laughs> so, um, I can't figure out what to eat in the morning. With this, this show is on, then I'm on the radio live right after it back to Los Angeles. And right. I can't, I'm squeezing in something right. to eat for breakfast. So she says, I've got the perfect thing for you. Chia pudding. And I actually like chia pudding. Right. Because it's low in calorie and it fills you up. And you made me this vanilla date sweetened blended. Yeah. Chia pudding, which Chia is pudding. outstanding. It's like a shake. I didn't well, know you could make it like a shake. Well, because you're because you don't like the cashews. So the cashews are the binding agent in the chia pudding that okay. make it like smooth and creamy and pudding like. But Ryan doesn't like cashews, so I left the cashews out. And what I noticed was, and I was having a freak out about it. <laughs> and uh, sorry if this is boring, but you'll you'll just but bear with me. But our lives are. Um, yeah, these are our lives. This okay. Is, this, this is, is this, this was six oh two last night. This is show business, people. Okay. <laughs> this is how we spend a show business night. And so I could not get the I could not get the chia to sort of blend with the with the water. So what I did was I put it in that um, magic bullet. Yes. You know, late, yes. Um, and I and I emulsified it so it was like it broke down the chia so it became like a chia shake. And it did the trick. It's very good. Thank you okay. for thinking of me. I I'm always thinking well, of you. Yeah. Oh, well, we're gonna make it. Kelvin wants to make it someday. All right. We'll make it. I'll make it two ways. I'll make it. The I'll make it. I'll make it two ways because I, you know, I made the batch for my kids. I made the batch for you. And uh, Joaquin last night he goes to pull out uh, the batch and he goes, "Why does this say Ryan no cashews?" Because <laughs> his name is and Ryan no cashews. It's for Ryan and it has no cashews. That's not the one you want. <laughs> well, you're you're one. very sweet to do that. <laughs> uh, does anyone is, check your butts right now? Is everyone awake? Did anybody's rear ends fall asleep? What do you mean? Like, I'm feeling mine. It feels, you know, just squ squishy like it's had three kids. <laughs> I remember growing up in class, I would, oh, my, my rear end would fall asleep every once in a while really? in science class. It has an official term. It's called gluteal amnesia. <gasps> <laughs> That's what that is. I have that. I have that. Like, I have a chronic, I have like a chronic, chronic gluteal yeah, amnesia. Gluteal amnesia. <laughs> and what do you do to resolve it? I just ignore it. I, I ignore it. Really? I just kind of do that thing where you sort of slide around so you hope nobody notices, but it kind of burns, and so you try and take care of the, the Is burn. Is it from too much sitting? It's from too much sitting, they say, and numbers are on the rise. Okay. There's more oh, gluteal more amnesia than ever before. Sitting. More people right. are sitting, yes. Well, right. they're, they're saying now that's why they're making all those uh, stand up desks. Have you seen the stand up yes, desks? Yes, I have. Yeah, I want to get one of those. Or the desk that's attract, uh, connected to your treadmill. I mean, that looks good in the commercial, but how does that really work when you're walking on the treadmill, trying to talk on the phone, you're breaking... Oh, well, I wouldn't be walking, I'd be running. I'd be like, and another thing! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, um, do you, yeah, I actually have suffered from this. I have a flat butt. Yeah, it causes, it causes, it causes flat it. butt? Yeah. yeah. It causes Is that what causes it? That's Take a look at, look, I sit all the time, look at that flat butt. Oh, oh my God, I have that, that too. That's from iFly. That's from when we did the iFly. No, I have that too. My, I think my butt is flat. Well, Gelman, what would you like to say to that? I think you have no, noticed no, that. Never your butt is that not way, flat. Can. It's perfect. Yeah. It, it is flat. It, it is flat. But it's okay. It's fine. I don't care anymore. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> what, I mean, we're... You know, as, as my dad says, you can't take it to the grave, although I fear that this is what I'm taking to the grave. Um, Good morning. <laughs> so look, here's this, here's this. Remember, remember, uh, do you remember, for those of you who can't remember, we had the seagull that found the dentures, and I was like, guys, it named, captioned this photo, because, like, <laughs> seagulls, as we all know, will eat anything, and they find everything. Right. Seagulls really do. So now, and not to be outdone, there's this dog, this, uh, this is a dog named Pandora, um, in Brazil, found these dentures. <laughs> and... <laughs> That's genius. I mean, 
God's sake. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, but we can all agree, we can all agree, like, those dentures need some fix-a-dent or, what, like, cleaning. What is it? Effrodent? Effrodent, yeah. Look at how these nice, clean dentures. <laughs> and look at those dentures. Yeah, these were found those in the mud, and those were found in the Those are tobacco-chewing dentures right here. But it doesn't... And these are effrodent dentures. I think like yeah. it doesn't matter what you put on near or around a dog. It automatically becomes the cutest thing ever, right? And yeah. so in here, uh, come winter, you have to bundle. Like, Georgia has never been in a winter, really. So you have to bundle. Oh, so Georgia will get a coat and the whole outfit. I know. I, that's oh, I'll, I'll get you the. I'll you get booties and everything. And sweaters. Yeah. We them. want the booties, and Chewy won't wear booties. Why? Which is a real. She doesn't like them. She doesn't like the feeling. And she. And if you put her in them, well, first of all, she'll fight you to the death. But if you do manage to wrangle her in them, she then just flips over on her back. And just She's plays, she plays dead. <laughs> um, so the salt that people throw on the sidewalks is very bad for your dog's for paws. paws. Okay. And then they sometimes try to lick it off, and it's then it's very bad for their stomachs. Okay. So so be prepared for winter. You need to, right, need to winterize go. your dog. All right. Well, it's okay. probably a good time to buy the winter stuff. Now it's on sale. Yeah. Now it's on sale. <laughs> sale right That's now. That's when you want to get it. Right. When we talked a little bit about this, when you travel. Do you steal the soap, the shampoo from the condition yes. for hotels? Right? I mean, why, why not? Yes. And by the way, that is what it's there for. That's what it's there for. And sometimes, you know what? I'll take the shampoo and put it in my purse so they put out another shampoo. And I take that one. She's, she's really clean. She's showering four times a day. Recent reports have revealed that each day hotel guests leave behind millions of half-used half soaps and shampoo bottles, which go to landfill. So you should go ahead and take those shampoo bottles. Yeah, you're hoping to help in here. Take the bottles, take the soap. And a lot of times, a lot of uh, homeless shelters are looking for uh, soaps mm -hmm. and shampoos, travel sizes. You can so donate you them can to charity. Donate them. So just think about that before you let me know. You know what I love? I love the mouthwash bottles. Oh, yeah. I take the mouthwash bottles, and then I put them in my glove compartment. And so when, I live, when you live in Los Angeles and you're a single person, you never know where you're going to be when you might get to first base. So, <laughs> so you, you could stuff to get around so you don't get home often. So you have the mouthwash there. And then right before the moment of impact, you say, excuse me for one second. <laughs> Into the curb. Into the curb. And yeah. Then you, and, and then you, you lean make, in. And then you lean in and hope something and happens. And Always be prepared. Are you, are you, you're the firstborn. Firstborn. I'm the firstborn. Yes. So, what does that mean? That means something, right? It does mean something. Born, uh, older siblings make natural leaders because they've had practice bossing the younger ones around. Um, <laughs> I have to Debatable. Yeah. Uh, having more children means uh, parents spend less time with each child. I can attest to that. Uh, Joaquin has been raised himself completely. <laughs> and they generally have lower IQs. I disagree. I think, I think Joaquin is like my... I mean, I think he's like, you know... I don't want to say the word smartest, but he's the one. But he's got, he's got the he's IQ. He's got, team. like, he's got, yeah, he knows what's going on. I don't know if it says, but there's something, there's a book that a, a buddy of mine, Lawrence, read that he keeps trying to give it to me, but I don't want to take it. But it has to do with uh, firstborns and how you're supposed to be matched up with, I don't know if it's second or middle or something like that, that your match is, is not, maybe your match is not firstborn. That oh, if your my, first should be my, with a... My husband is the baby. So, so and you guys, and like, clearly it works, born. right? Yeah. So maybe two firstborns are supposed to wed. Maybe they are not, but they say older siblings stay in school longer, they get richer, they even have higher IQs. But I don't know if I believe all that. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. All I know is if my daughter's in the middle, and if I took her... How, yeah, how's, how's she in the middle? Oh. Because she's, you know, she's terrifying. Uh, she's super, you know, if I, I always say, like, and I used to say this when they were little, if you sent the three of them into the woods alone with nothing, she would come out alive. <laughs> she has to fight for her place, she, being in the middle. She, yeah, she knows what's going on. Well, we've got a great show for you today. Thanks for being here, everybody, yeah. on the show today. Kurt Russell is with us. He wakes up happy every day. Every morning wakes up happy. That's what he says. Hey, from my... From Scandal, Guillermo Diaz is here. Yeah. From Jane the Virgin, Gina Rodriguez is with us. Mm. 
Okay, time for Summer Seas Travel Trivia. from Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, Terry. That was incredible. You went down low. You brought it back up. Good for you, Terry. <laughs> Thank you. We've got Nick Yellow from Hamburg, New York on the line. Nick, reaching the beaches, rocking the docks, running late and sounding great. How are you, buddy? Good morning. How are you, Brian Kelly? Oh, my God. That was a dream. I'm listening to you say that. I love when you go into DJ mode. When I... <laughs> <laughs> on the ones and twos, Nick. How are you, buddy? I'm fine. Everything's great. You just got back from New York City, is that right? Yes. Uh, last month, we uh, caught a couple shows. Hello, Dolly. <gasps> Sunset Boulevard. Great. And, uh, you know, Glenn Close. She was excellent. And yeah. Beth Midler, of course, is the best. Ah, uh, great. Well, well, let's spin the wheel. Let's go. Let's see what you're playing for. Here we go. Spin the wheel. Let's see what you're playing for. All right, here we go. Let's see what we're playing Fair for, Nick. What do we have? Coba Resort in Riviera Maya, Mexico. Seven days, six Such nights. It includes all meals, a private boat tour. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize value. It's $7,500. You have 20 seconds and only one guest. Nick, good luck. Here we go, Nick. We had Beth Bears on the show. What type of animal did Beth say her pet name Belle is? Type of animal. Think hard or look it up quickly. Snake. What? A snake? A, a snake? No, it's not a snake. It's a horse. It's a horse. But they're both animals. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, listen, uh, there, there is good news. What is the good news? <laughs> the good news is that now you, Nick, and a lucky member of our studio audience will each receive $500 appliance package from Cuisinart. Hmm. So pick a number between 1 and 222, Nick. What's it going to be? Three. Three it is! from the series Jane the Virgin, Gina Rodriguez. Kelly and Ryan try the ancient art of cupping. From Scandal, Guillermo Diaz, and coming up next, Kurt Russell. You. Wait, have you just met for the first time? We've never, I don't think we've ever met. We've no. never met. We no. know people around each other. But <laughs> That's the fun part about me is I don't know that many people. No. So it's, always nice to, it's always nice to meet somebody. No, it's true. I, I've never seen you. you know, we, I assume you live in Los Angeles? I'll say it. Yeah, I've never seen you yeah. anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and I've, That's I've me. been on every red carpet. <laughs> do, you know, do you know this phrase? There's a, an, an incredible phrase that Ryan used yesterday on the show. When there is a fork in the road, what would Kurt Russell do? Do you know this phrase? No. That, that, that's true. It's, that's like a saying. It's like a Yogi Berra. It's, it's yeah. a Yogi Berra. Yeah, Kevin Bacon has that come to, the, degree, come to a fork in the road, take it. Degrees, right? Yeah, and uh, it's, so when people face a challenge, they ask, I think a lot of women ask, what would J-Lo do? And right. men say, what would Kurt Russell do? All right, I'll take that. So what would, what you, would do? you do? <laughs> I'd do what Yogi said. I'd take it. <laughs> take it. Take it. Yeah. Right. So I, I read, Kurt, that you're always, every morning when he gets up, apparently he's always happy. They just wake I, up in a state I, of happiness. My mom and I actually um, talk about that every once in a while. I don't know what that is, but I just, yeah, I always have. Wake, I just wake up happy. I'm, I wake you up did? ready for the day, feel good. It's going to, you know, often go downhill from there. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I wake up happy. You know? Well, you've been with Goldie for 34 years. Does she wake up happy, too? <laughs> she, she, Goldie has a lot more on her mind generally than I yeah. do, so sometimes she'll wake up thinking about something already. Yeah. But in general, Goldie's a, like me, she's a happy person. Now, there was a, there was a connection you guys had early on when you met for Swing Shift, right? Mm -hmm. And it was, it was something significant that oh. rattled your bones. Oh, no, I, 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 it's funny, Goldie and I had met in 1966 on a picture called um, the one and only genuine original family band, which was a, 
a Disney picture right. that was her first movie. Wow. And uh, so it was years later now she was doing Swing Shift. She was producing it and I was coming in to meet her. But the night before had been a tough night. I'd been out all night long with my dad. And anybody who was out all night long with my dad was out all night long. So, right, right. so I was. He was. I was probably four or five in the morning. I said to him, "I got. I got. I got an interview in, in the morning. I got to get to sleep." So I set my alarm clock early, and I went early to the office so that that, that I would be there. So I went, there was a secretary there, and I said, "Hi, I'm Kurt Russell," <clears throat> and I said, "I'm just going to go sit in that chair over there, but I'm here. Right. You know, I'm here, but I said I'm going to go to sleep, and whenever they're ready or she's ready or whatever, just let me know." So. You know, drooling. <laughs> and uh, next thing I know, she said, "Hey, we're they're ready." And I, I went, and it was just Goldie. And I remember the door opened. It was she was, and I, 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 the first thing I remember was, I said, "Wow, you've got a great figure." Oh my God! And I, and it was like, you know, just something that I, and she realized the innocence of it. I was just, I was seeing her for the first time, and she said, "Thank you." And then I just watched her take one cap off and put another one on, and said, "Well, let's, let's talk about this." Wow! So that was, I was very impressed with just the way she understood it, took it, and was, you know. I cool like about it. it. I, and the rest is history, as <laughs> they say. There you go. Find out about playing Chris Pratt's father live after this. Perfect casting. Perfect <laughs> casting. Like, I actually now believe that you could be Chris Pratt's yeah, I know father, what you mean. biologically. When I was doing, uh, I was, Tarantino's Hateful Eight, we were out doing the stump for it. Yeah. And uh, suddenly one day my phone was going off and, and people were coming up to me saying, are you gonna, are you gonna do Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? Are you gonna play Chris Pratt's dad? And I didn't, had not any idea what they were talking about. I hadn't seen the first movie. So I was <laughs> right. just in, and I was in the dark and I, they thought I was just clamming up and I, I said, look, I don't know anything about this. Right. So I had to see the first movie and read the script and once I did and once I saw what Chris was doing in the first movie, I, I got why everybody was very, they were very excited about it, but it was a weird position to be in for the first time. There was like pressure on you because this movie that everybody loved so much, you were going to now be a part of the second one and right. you certainly didn't want to drop the ball. You were so. his dream choice. You, you know that. I mean, he, he told well, us that. Well, I bring the that. right baggage, so, I guess. Well, you know? what happened when you guys met? We just smiled at each other and went, yeah. It's what you do, know, like, you know, right? You, you get that yeah. feeling of the same family of man. You know? Well, it's funny because he was here yesterday, and I'm watching. As I'm looking at you, I I am reminded of him. It's really, we should do a swap. It's amazing how we should similar, swap each similar in age yeah. you are. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Yeah. Very, yeah. yeah, very similar. You're very similar. You're so similar. Buddy, thanks for being here. Man. He's everyone's favorite gladiator hawk on ABC's hit drama Scandal. Please welcome Guillermo Diaz. Hi guys. Yeah. This is, I, by the way, you're two days. Two, two days. days. Yeah. It's two days. No, I. I, I riddles. Riddles with testosterone. testosterone. Riddles. I just read an article about you know guys and beards such a trend right now. I read an article that women are more attracted to men with beards, but they'd rather be more intimate. With men without beards. Without beards. Huh, that's very interesting. Yeah, it was a long article. I did not know that. <laughs> what say you, Kelly? What I, say you? You know, I, I go I go always. You know me. <laughs> I, like, I like I like whatever whatever Mark is sporting in the moment. You're, you're, you're into I, it. Yeah, yeah. So you're a native New Yorker, yeah? I am, Welcome yeah. Home. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Are you gonna spend any time in Washington Heights? Yes, you know, I was just telling my, my manager backstage, I haven't even told my parents that I'm here yet. Oh, well, that's a and good they're gonna idea. Be... <laughs> that's a good idea, though. Yeah, yeah, Let yeah. them find out as a surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprise. But I love, yeah, I grew up in Washington Heights, and yeah, yeah I want to go back. And they, I love the food, like the Dominican, Puerto Rican, and Cuban food. Your favorite spot yeah. to go to? Okay. Um, yeah, Floridita. There's a place called Floridita on 100 and, like, uh, 40 something, 145th, I think. And what do you yeah. close your eyes and see yourself eating? We want detail. <laughs> uh, probably a breaded steak, bitempanizado, mm. with like platanos and, yeah, maduros. Mm. <laughs> we're, we're just going to we're, moan. We're so, <laughs> mm. um, so I did not realize that you worked at a photo stock agency yeah. early on in your career. Yeah. I did. Yeah, I did. How did I not know that? Yeah. 
So I, yeah, it was a place called Retina. And back in the day, I used to file pictures of celebrities. So I would file <laughs> like eight by, you know, uh, black and whites, eight by 10 photographs right. and slides of celebrities. Oh. And that was my job, just filing pictures, and the photographers would come in and bring in the material, and I would file. And are they it. filing your picture now? Yeah, I hope so. Well, <laughs> I, I, now it's like right. this is like the digital age, so right. there's no more filing. Yeah, they file. They <laughs> that come job in with their obsolete. iPhone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. You're, so, you're obsessed also with horror films, is that right? Yeah, yeah. I love horror movies. Yeah. yeah. What's your mm -hmm. favorite? What's your very favorite? Like, what is your number, number one, one scares you to death movie? Yeah, probably The Exorcist. Yeah. <laughs> But, but one of my favorite movies is Rosemary's Baby, Rosemary's Baby. Also yeah. terrifying. Yeah, yeah. What about for you? For me? Yeah. Um, I like The Omen. Yeah. The original. The original. The original, yeah. yep. Um, you know, that's a dark film. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. A, well, for me, it's anything Hugh Grant is in. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> that's about the extent that's horrific. Of, no, 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 I don't mean it that way. I mean, I'm afraid of... Horror movies, so right. I'd rather yeah. go romantic comedy route yeah. any day. Right. Got it. Yeah. It's just my Kate and Leopold yeah. all day long. When I was a kid, I was like 11 years old. My parents took us to the movie theater <clears> to <throat> go see The Exorcist. Oh, so yeah, and my you know they don't really speak English. I mean, they do, they understand it, and they can speak it. But you know, back in the day, there were no previews really. Right. Like I mean, there were, but you know, they didn't know what The Exorcist was about. Right. And they took me and my two brothers. I was like 11 years old. They saw a priest. They thought it was like yeah, a they church. Were like, oh, <laughs> nice little movie. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there we were watching The Exorcist, and we—they didn't take us out once her, you know, all the gory and stuff is happening, no. and her head spinning, and they—they they were like, okay, we're gonna, this is that type of movie, we're gonna chill and watch this. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Why don't we play this I game? So. We, we got a little challenge. You, we're oh. gonna challenge you, okay? Yeah. It's called Live's Game of Horror. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Take turns reading you a line from a famous okay. horror oh, film. Okay. Oh man. You have to name. I'll hold it. Okay. You you, there we go. Film. You do the okay. uh, do the honors. Okay. Uh, uh, you you can't kill the boogeyman. <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 I, that was my. Uh, that that was good. Another, try another one. Okay. Very another good, Tommy Doyle. Yeah, I have to do another one. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> It puts the lotion in the basket. The silence of the land. Okay. Yes. All right. My friend Brooke Smith is the, is the actress in the pit. Yeah. All right, let me try awesome. one. She's amazing. Yeah. All work and no play makes Jack a gold. Boy. <laughs> the Shining. The Shining. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he's, he's well read on these. <laughs> okay, and let's see. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Oh, Nightmare on Elm Street? Yeah, that's it. I don't know what the voice should be. I'm doing them all the same. I think a, I think a girl said that. Okay. You did a good job. That, it's, I, it's, Nancy said it, yeah. Yeah, well. Is there someone inside of you? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. I don't know. Yes, you do. Really? Is there someone? Is there someone? Oh, The Exorcist? Yes! Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> Um, okay, so tell us, what's going to happen on Scandal? Thank you. So... You guys Huck, are always so forthcoming. Yeah, Huck is going to get shot right in the forehead. Oh, my God, I know. And die. No, I'm so kidding, I'm kidding. kidding. They reveal nothing. <laughs> I've, I've held him down and tickled she him backstage. She has, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. just there's something that you... you just yeah, um, well, something. next Thursday, it's going to be a two-hour season finale. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so it's going to be huge. I can't say that Olivia Olivia takes a huge risk to ensure Melly's uh, safety at the inauguration. Okay. So there's some stuff going down where she has to, you know, be protected. Um, I think we can put it all together now. And yeah, you know, <laughs> connect the dots. Well, listen, this is your own. Oh, yes. We got you a trophy for playing that is the horror. So yeah. cool. You guys, that's a really, really awesome. Congratulations. That's a real act. Thank you so <laughs> much. Um, I have a secret bookcase that is going to go in there. Yeah. Yeah, well, so high. Just back in the nick of time. Just well, I love her. She stars on the popular comedy series Jane the Virgin. Please welcome Golden Globe winner Gina Rodriguez.
Thanks. Oh my God. Thank you. I gotta That's... return them the second this is done. Oh my God. <laughs> you should accidentally swallow one. Oh, uh, that's yeah. a great idea. <laughs> that is way better than losing it, right? Somehow it fell into my mouth. And I swallowed yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, they have the wait for the return. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that. Let's keep going. Right. It's the morning. Hey guys. <laughs> I've always wanted to do. I've never done. You were in Thailand recently. I was. Oh, tell me. I went to Thailand for a month to train <gasps> in Muay Thai. What? what is, explain what is Muay Thai. So Muay Thai is essentially like kickboxing, but you use all oh, those mean Joe. Yeah. But you use all your limbs. So you use your elbows and your knees, and you kick and you punch. Is that what the? Oh, look. Oh. Oh wow. my gosh. Oh my god. Oh. Gina, are you competing? I want to. That looks competitive. I mean, There's a crowd. The, the guy, yes! <laughs> what, what was the impetus? Why did you want to get into So I could be my own security. Was that, <laughs> Do you know what I'm was saying? That, <laughs> was that offered at the resort? <laughs> <laughs> it was like the special, you know, the special package. Like, kind of not what I had envisioned in my mind. <laughs> it was actually a really gorgeous place. It's AK Thailand, AKA Thailand, and it is a Muay Thai place that's actually here in America as oh, well. Oh, wow. And it's beautiful. I mean, you train under like a huge canopy in the middle of the jungle, and it's gorgeous. But I was actually training for Jane. I wanted to. Get, we were flash forwarding three years on the show this past season. Wow. And that meant that my son was going to be four, and I just felt like I wanted to physically, for one, be able to pick up a four year old time right. and time they're again. They're so heavy. <laughs> like, they're so they're heavy. So heavy. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's like up to here, yeah. too. He climbs me. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> what are you doing, dude? But he's the absolute greatest. So that was, yeah, I had a really good time. I went with my boyfriend. and uh, Yeah, jo yeah, Joe, who you met on, on the, the set. set right? It was like, hey, lovely to meet you. But you have to be, you can't can't cross that line, no, right? Never. It's like, no, sure. I'm not like, hey, meet me in my trailer. Yeah. You know? <laughs> if you want another job. Um, <laughs> I would never, I would never in a million years. Um, can so, you but, but did, did he strike you as attractive and charming and, and anything when you met him? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think he strikes everyone as attractive. Yeah, he did me on the right Yeah, you know what I'm saying, right? Was, was... He's just, yeah, he's something else. Um, but he did, and I, he thought that I was being nice to him because, like, I am nice to everybody that comes on our show. It means a lot to me, you yeah. know, if you come and you share your talent with us. Well, because that starts to the top and then everybody is nice, right? Like, yes. like you, so though. Wait, but thank you, like sweetie. You <laughs> and now you got this one? I know. Stop. Like, She's very nice to Mr. me. Yeah. She's very yeah. nice to me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he thought I was just like being super sweet to him and I thought he was just being sweet on me because... I'm the lead, so I thought he right. was like, hey. And and nothing happened, and then six months later, I see him at the gym, and I'm like, oh, you box also. Ah. Do you think he tracked you down? Yes. Okay. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, that does not just happen unless he does a little research and tracks you down. I think like that answer. Was, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was in London. Oh, is that, are we clapping? Yes. No, because, <laughs> we're happy you tracked you. In fact, we'll come back in just a second. More with Gina right after this, because Jane is kind of not a virgin anymore. Yes. Oh. Kind of not so much. It, we're going into our fourth season. The crazy thing is, is right after that, he tries to hit my father, and I block the punch, and I punch him. Oh. And I punched him accidentally, oh. for real. <laughs> he was such, I, re, I really punched him hard. It's because of that yeah. resort boxing. It's because of the resort yeah. boxing. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the, I felt so bad because, you know, we had a stunt coordinator there and I kept, you know, obviously doing it. We kept doing it correct, correct, correct. And then there was just one time and I saw his nose so clear. Oh, right. no. So I know. I saw it so clear and I blocked and I just was like, whack. And then I hit him and I was like, oh. Did he? Did you break his nose? I didn't break his nose. I pulled back so quickly. Oh he was such a good sport. Francisco, I love you. You're the absolute best. Because I swore, I was like, he's going to sue me. I was like, it's a wrap. They're going to fire me. It's terrible. And he just kept going with the scene. We finished the scene. And then I was like, dude, I am so sorry. He was like, no, dude. Oh, my God. You punch. And I was like, yeah. I punched like a girl, dude. Yeah. 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 I'm fine, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yes. And he went into his trailer and he was like, <laughs> Stop. Yes. He's like, I'm gonna need surgery. And he's gonna blame me later. He's gonna get a nose job. He's gonna be like, it was all Gina's fault. I'm like, yeah, right. Everyone loves you. I have to say, oh, I've known you over the years. 
you're so generous every time I see you working, every time I see you with your family, and you're just lovely to be around. So congratulations. Okay. All right. Have you heard about cupping therapy? You're here to show us what it's all about. Please welcome Dr. Taz Batia. Batia. Yes, I got it. Okay. Dr. Taz. Okay, Dr. Taz lives in Atlanta, not far from where I grew up. Neighbors. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. Traffic on 285. Shout out. Congratulations, by the way. Thank yeah. you. I'm so no, good to be here. very happy, very happy. So we're going to cup. Yes, I've get never you done on it. the table. We're, I, I, let's start cupping. He's so. never done this before. And is this, what's just, the, what's this supposed to do? Okay, so cupping is a really, here, let's, I'm going to get you comfy. So cupping is a really, <laughs> it's a really old. Wait, what kind of doctor form. are you? <laughs> It's an old form of medicine. It's okay. been used for thousands of years. Yeah. It's been used from yeah, Egypt it, to it. China. I'll and essentially, yes. what we're doing with cupping oh. is we're using okay. these suction okay. cups yes. to really I saw create Phelps did this area. in Brazil, in Rio. Absolutely. So we're trying to create an area where really we're increasing circulation, we're getting rid of toxins, Okay. and we're draining away. Does, does it leave a mark? It'll leave some little rings around, uh, you know, in different areas. Where are you hurting? Uh, everywhere. Everywhere. Ryan. Okay. Well, so no, but, but I do have. I really have pain back, right? Where kind of that that cup. Yes. Right, right there. Right. Okay. What? So we're gonna you keep have going a nice here. back. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Have you not seen his back? I've actually never seen it. You can't see. Well, I'm, it you know what? I'm drinking it all oh in. Oh, oh, Kelly. Okay. How's your help? Yeah. Um, pump the hey, cup. Pump, pump, pump the cup. Hey, Dr. Taz. Yep. So, Dr. Taz, what are those things? These are suction cups. Uh -huh. And so what they're doing is they're pulling the skin up into the cup rather than uh -huh. massage, which kind of pulls it down, pushes uh -huh. you down. Is this a quicker procedure than massage? Um, it's not necessarily quicker. Some people would say it's more effective because uh -huh. it's really breaking up all that muscle tissue right under there. And we actually have studies that say it brings more oxygen into that area. Oh. Dr. Taz, so do I just keep pump. pumping back here? Keep pumping. You're, You're doing great. great. Really pumped <laughs> up. <laughs> and Kelly we can doing? leave it on here from anywhere from just a couple minutes up yeah. to 20 minutes. <clears throat> okay. Really depending on what you're able to tolerate. So yeah. if you can yeah. see in here, how's it feeling? Uh, it feels comfortable, it's quite okay. frankly. So it's again, we can... Let's you know, turn it up. You, turn it up. Crank it up. Is, well, is let's crank it up. Is it at a certain point? Well, crank it up. Let's put more pressure in there. And I'm going to put more tension by squeezing Now, All right. No more junior varsity for us. And then in Chinese medicine, they would actually, while you're doing that, I'm going to show, show something right over here. They would actually heat that cup. So they would take a flame and heat right around the cup here and put oh, a hot cup directly on your back. Why don't we do that? We can't. We're not allowed to. Yeah, fire we're not allowed to. Oh, we're not a fire, allowed to. Fire rule. And then we would also fire. take herbs, like all the different Chinese herbs you can take, break them up, right. and then put those directly under the cup as well okay. to really promote the healing response. I'm afraid that when we put this on him, it's going to rip his skin off. I've been pumping Let's here for it. a long time. Let's try putting that one oh, on. God. Do you want to try? Just, just put it. Just put it directly on him. Oh, right, right directly on him. Yep. Right. Oh, God. Right here. Right there. And then <laughs> and then pump a little bit more. Pump. There you go. Oh, see oh, how oh, you're yeah. breaking. Uh, wait, are you in pain? No, no, no. You sure? Yes. Take it off. We can let go. Oh my gosh. So Am I hurting? <laughs> no, it's good. It's comfortable. So we can keep that there for just a couple of minutes. I'm How's concerned it feeling? about that one. So you can see. I'm gonna actually take one off. A couple minutes. I think this is. Fascinating. So I don't know if you can see the nice ring yes, there. Mm. So again, in Chinese medicine, the redder the ring, then the more toxins we're getting rid of, and we're really helping to really cure inflammation. Well, how red is the ring? It's kind of red. I mean, look at that. All right, let's move over and start. Kelly, do you want to try a different? Yes, here? I do. Let's move over here. Well, he's is doing that. that. Okay. We're oh, gonna try we have to take a commercial break, but when we come back, you're gonna share the treatment on the face for me, right? Okay. Okay. Dr. Taz, she's going to cup my face. <laughs> yes, we're going to cup your face. Now, just like we use yeah. the body cups mm -hmm. for Ryan, now the facial cups look are a little bit smaller. Ah. I'm going to apply them directly to your face. I want them, oh, sorry about that. Let's put it directly on there. I just saw my there. face on camera without makeup, <laughs> and it's totally terrible. There we go. You're perfect. I think it's not, here we go. I think we may need smaller cups. There we go. Got it? Okay, All right, there you, there's your cup. And so what this is doing is essentially, same thing, is helping circulation, helping with lymphatic drainage, helping to tone the skin, and really helps to prevent wrinkles. So this is a great treatment to do. This is going to gonna prevent wrinkles? This is going to prevent wrinkles, I promise. So this is a great, a great little treatment to do every, you know, every few weeks It does seem so. counterintuitive, doesn't it? I know. I'm like, well, it's I'm breaking everything up in here. So a lot of us hold tension in our jaw. Do you know how much money face. it costs to put all that in there? <laughs> Talk to me first. Now you're taking it out. You should have absolutely talked to me first. All right, well, let's talk about.
about one other really yes. neat anti-aging treatment. Yeah. So this is microneedling. Yeah. If you look at the end of it, you've got a ton of little needles at the end of this pen. They're going to puncture your skin. We're going to bring blood flow to yeah. your forehead. Hit, hit me, and Doc. that's really going to help prevent wrinkles. Oh, you ready? Oh, oh, you feel How's it? How's it feel? It feels fine. Good. Yeah. We're being very gentle. What do you do about the blood? If you... Am I going to bleed? <laughs> no, it's fine. All right. So see how she's getting just a little bit red right through there? Am I getting red? You are getting a little bit red. But again, this is bringing blood flow to your skin. Yes. So it's going to prevent wrinkles, prevent scars, prevent hyperpigmentation. <laughs> a great anti-aging treatment that you can do really to move things I forward. feel like... Okay. So I'm going to actually take your... Well, we, we'll leave yours yeah, on. Yeah. Let's take Ryan's cup off. All right. Let's take Ryan's off. Let's see what these look like. Okay. Ah, look ah, at this. Ah, so that oh, is wow. an area where you've got a lot of toxins, yeah. a lot of chemicals. Oh my God, you hold all your toxins right there. A lot of inflammation. Right there. Great. Oh my goodness, look at the one you did. They're so toxic. Wow. I, wow. They call me Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> Look at See, I just think again. I just think that's back fat, isn't it's it? It's not. not back no. fat. You don't have any back fat on here. So yeah. Those it's usually the angle. that may stay on for a couple of days and take some time to fade away. And again, it was a short treatment. The longer the treatment, then you're going to see Guys, it lasts a little bit for longer. For all of this information, go to Live Kelly and Ryan yes. on Facebook for Dr. Taz's. Um,